draw the development of the lateral surface of a right regular hexagonal prism of 25 mm base edge and 70 mm height. An ant moves on its surface from a corner on the base to the diametrically opposite corner of the top face by the shortest route. Sketch the path of the ant in the elevation. So here this is a problem involving development of a solid and it is also involving the finding out of a shortest path which is traveled by an ant. So the very first step that we have to do is draw the symbol front view and top view of this corresponding hexagonal prism and after that we have to draw the development of the lateral surface of this hexagonal prism as mentioned in the question. Then we have to think about the shortest path by which the ant has traveled from a corner of the base to the diametrically opposite corner of the top base. So here we shall start with the simple front view and simple top view of the hexagonal prism. So already we have done the simple front view and simple top view of this hexagonal prism. So this is the simple top view and this is the simple front view. I have done the simple top view in such a way that this edge is parallel to the xy line. That means it is parallel to the vertical plane in the top view. So we are having a simple front view. The outline is a rectangle and the simple top view is a regular hexagon. First, we shall draw the development of the lateral surface. So what do you mean by the lateral surface of this regular hexagonal prism? So this regular hexagonal prism is having six rectangular faces and two pentagonal faces. So the two pentagonal faces are on one face is on the top, another face is on the bottom side. So apart from that, it is having six rectangular faces along the sides. So these faces are known as the lateral surface. And in the question, we are sub as per the question, we are supposed to draw only the development of the lateral surface. So first we shall draw the development of the lateral surface and later on we shall think about the travel of the ant. So in order to draw the development of the lateral surface of this regular hexagonal prism, we shall extend a straight line from the top surface. I already have extended the xy line to the right hand side we shall extend a straight line which is parallel to the xy line from the top surface. Now, the base edge length of this regular hexagonal prism is 25 mm. So when we unfold this solid, totally the lateral surface will be like a rectangle which is having a height of 70 mm and which is having a width of around some 25 into 6 which is 150 mm so 150 mm is the total stretch out length of this regular hexagonal prisms lateral surface so we shall do the lateral surface now so from the initial front view let us take some distance to the right hand side a small distance maybe some uh, 15 or 20 mm and you have to make sure that to the right hand side you are having 150 mm otherwise you won't be able to draw the development of the solid so i'm taking around some 20 mm or some 30 mm we shall take some 30 mm and we have to make sure that we are having some 150 mm to the right hand side So we shall draw a straight line here, height is 70. So after this straight line, we shall take a length of 150 mm. Now we shall divide this 150 mm into six equal parts of 25 mm each. So initially let us take 25. So we shall divide it like 25, 50, 75, 100, 125 and 150.
So we have divided this stretch out length of 150 mm into six equal parts. Each of them is 25. Now we shall name this development. So let us assume that we are unfolding this solid with respect to this edge a a1 so this is it this edge which is on the extreme left this is known as edge a a1 so let us assume that we are unfolding it with respect to a a1 a is on the top surface and a1 is on the base so let us mark this line as a a1 and towards the end this is also a a1 because we are unfolding the solid with respect to a a1 so as we have named the solid in the clockwise direction that is a b c d e f if this point is a1 the next point will be b1 c1 d1 e1 f1 and again the last one will be a1 and along the top surface it will be b c d e f and again it will be a now we shall draw the outline of the development of the lateral surface so the outline of the development will be a thick line a type a line and you are not supposed to darken these intermediate lines because they are known as folding lines So we have drawn the symbol front view, symbol top view and development of the lateral surface of the solid as per the requirement of the question. Now we shall think about the journey of the ant or the travel of the ant, how it is traveling from a point of the solid to the next point of the solid. So in the question it is mentioned that an ant moves on its surface from a corner on the base to the diametrically opposite corner of the top face by the shortest route. So first let us concentrate on these initial wordings that is an ant moves on its surface from a corner of the base. So let us take this corner as corner A1. So along the base we are having A1, B1, C1, D1, E1 and F1. So we are having six corners along the base. So let us take this starting point of the end as corner a1 which is on the base so this is a1 in the front view which is a1 dash and this is a1 in the top view so let us assume that the end is starting from a1 and to which place it is traveling so it is traveling to the diametrically opposite corner of the top face so which is the top face so here top face is a b c d e f which is visible from the top and here this one is a b c d e f so it is starting from a1 and it is traveling to the diametrically opposite corner so if it is starting from a1 along the base or on the base which is the diametrically opposite point on the top face top face is a b c d e f the diametrically opposite point on the top face is D. So it is starting from A1 and it is ending its travel at point D. So let us locate these two points in the development. So the ending point is D. So this is the ending point of the and and which one is the starting point. Here we are having here this point is also A1 and this point is also A1. So which point is to be taken so let us assume that the end is traveling along the front face and not along the rear face so here along the front we are having rectangular surfaces so these are the rectangular surfaces which are along the front so which are all they it is AF so where AF is located this is AF then it is FE so FE and ED so these one, two, three rectangular faces are the front surface of this regular hexagonal prism. And we are assuming that the end is traveling along the front region. So we have to take this point A1. So the end is starting from A1 and it is traveling to D1. So 
these are the two points starting point and ending point of the end and what we have to find out is the shortest distance between these two points obviously the shortest distance between any two points is a straight line so we have to join a straight line between a1 and d so let us do it using a thick line starting from a1 and ending in d1 so this is the path of the end the shortest path of the end we have indicated the shortest path in the development of the solid the same path has to be indicated in the elevation so elevation means the front view so how to draw this path in the front view? that is what we are going to do next now let us mark these meeting points here we are having point a1 and this is point d so this path is meeting f f1 and e e1 these meeting points let us mark it as point 1 dash or let us take it as 1 and let us take this point as 2 you can so now let us transfer this path to the front view so where 1 is located 1 is located on f f1 so where is f f1 here this is f f1 we shall transfer this point 1 to the front view so we have to take it parallel to the xy line now now let us use our roller scale so this meeting point is 1 dash let us mark it as 1 dash now let us transfer point 2 so where 2 is located 2 is located on e e1 so here this is e E1. This is edge E1. So let us transfer 2 to this edge. So take it parallelly. So let us mark this point as 2 dash. So the end is traveling from A1 to D. And it is passing through point 1 dash and 2 dash so this surface is actually a flat surface so this is flat surface and this is also a flat surface and this is also a flat surface which are rectangles so let us connect a1 dash 1 dash 2 dash and d dash using straight lines to indicate the path of the end in the elevation or the path of the end in the front so we have to use thick lines here So this represents the path of the end in the front view. So this is the path of the end in the development and this is the path of the end in the top view. Now we have to mark it as the path of the end in the answer also. So we shall have a quick review of the solution. In any problems regarding the shortest path which is traveled by an ant or an insect or any problem that is related to the shortest path, the very first step is draw the symbol front view and symbol top view of the given solid. Next step is draw the development of the solid. Next step is find the starting point and ending point of this insect or ant and join it using a straight line mark 1 2 or in some other problems it may be 1 2 3 4 then transfer this 1 2 to the front view and in some cases you even require to transfer it to the top view also in this case it is not required 
then mark it as the path of the ant. So what you have to always remember is the shortest path between any two points is always a straight line and this shortest path in the case of these kind of problems will be obtained only by drawing a development. So a development is a must for finding out the shortest path usually.